dropped and lots of fires were being started to seal the picture on the painting. Most of the fires were started by these. See that hanging up there? That's called an incendiary bomb. Ever so dangerous, okay? That is a real one. You'll see one here on the little panel. See the one in the middle? That's safe. The ones either side of it have burned through. That one hasn't. Do you know why that's up there? Because it's still live and it's a bit dangerous. So I hang it up there in case it falls or anyone touches it. So what I do, I just give it a little tap and if it if it falls, can you tell me? Because I will be running up the yard. Okay? So when those bombs were dropping, they started lots of fires. Big fires. Very dangerous, okay? They weren't very nice at all. So when the aeroplanes come to drop the bombs, a siren would sound to tell people to get to safety in the air aid shelter underground. Because you wouldn't want to be amongst all the fires, would you? And all the buildings falling down. So shall I sound the siren? If you're not sure, put your fingers in your ears. Okay. Not very loud. Ready? When this sound happened, you had to run to safety with your mums and dads. very quiet but if you wind that handle very fast everyone around could hear it and you knew it was dangerous okay I'll do it once more Because when everyone else was in the shelter underground because the siren's gone off, these brave people would be outside, men and women, didn't have safety uniforms, look. They wore their own clothes. And they would be outside holding a small hand pump and any small fires were started, they very bravely put the fires out. Okay, because if a small fire starts and the fire engines are on another fire somewhere, what does the small fire turn into? A big fire. Well done, turns into a big fire, doesn't it? So these brave people were out there putting the fires out because the fire brigade couldn't get to them all, you see. All these people were given was a nice steel helmet to protect their head, a magic armband which said fire guard, and a little book of instructions on how to make things safe. How to be safe and how to put out small fires. There's the little pump they carried. It's called a stirrup pump. See it in the picture? It's a very small pump. Okay, and I'll show you. It looks a bit big right to me. This is a stirrup pump. Exactly the same is what these people used during the Second World War, okay? Exactly the same. Little handle on top, all you need was a bucket of water and you could put lots of little fires out of that. That's all you need, okay? So, if you know there's a fire, before you saw the flames, what else might you see? Any idea? Smoke. Smoke, where? There. Oh, you tried that early with the, the chicken. He said, he's behind you! I said, no, he's not. I'm not going to bring him. No! 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 Come here! No! I'm not looking around because you laugh at me. Smell! No! Is there smoke behind me, Laura? No, that's smoke! I think you've all got smoke in your... That's smoke! In your eyes. No, that's smoke! Oh, that's a rude smoke. 
smell. Oh, I've got smoke. You think it's a fire? <laughs> this is safe, by the way. It's only cosmetic smoke. It's, it's what the ladies use to make themselves look pretty. It's called cosmetic. Clearly, it doesn't work. <laughs> I did say political correctness has disappeared. <laughs> Dusty, no, it's fine. That smoke is dangerous. But what Graham told you in there, some smoke is dangerous, isn't it? Some smoke is very dangerous. That is okay, all right? Baby's gas mask, look. I'll give him another one. See this? If baby girl Dennis was in there and that smoke was dangerous, she would be okay because she's in the gas mask, a bit like this, okay? But some of these firemen, they didn't have gas masks and they suffered really bad chest problems because they breathed in all the terrible smoke. Now this fire helmet, yeah. what the fireman will be wearing, have a look at it, same as these behind me. Do you think they were very safe? So if the fireman put the fire helmet on, do you think this is very safe? No. So if something fell on his head, do you think he'd feel it? Because he would feel, wouldn't he? There's no protection around the face or the neck. Look, there's no protection at all around there, is there? So if something ah! fell down his neck, something burning, he wouldn't like it. If a piece of wood fell on his head, or a piece of brick or rock fell on his head, do you think he'd feel it? Shall we see? Don't do this at home. Don't follow my bad examples. Especially to your little brother. Or sister, it's a quality. Come that's on, true, that's true. see, got there first. It's not going to hurt you. It might hurt me. Did you say something? No. Oh, did he? I thought we said harder. I didn't feel a thing. Okay. They are very good, very strong, but there is no protection on the face, as you can see. Okay. Good. At the end there, we've got a lady fireman. No, not the one on the stool. She's not real. Hang on. <laughs> she is real. It just doesn't sound it sometimes. <laughs> you can't see, but there's a lady there. Look. Lady in the fire brigade. Do you think that's good or bad? Uh, Truth time. Come on. Bad. Uh, it's not right. Good. No. <laughs> you don't mean it, do you? <laughs> Yeah. It's a good thing. There you go, well done. Well, during the Second World War, when all this was happening, ladies weren't allowed out on the fire engines. They could be in the fire brigade, but they worked in the office and they made the tea and cooked the dinners, yes. But they, <laughs> but they were not allowed out on the... It's not, you can laugh out loud, you won't mind, trust me. Right. Ladies weren't allowed out on the fire engines, okay? Because someone in the government said they're not strong enough, they're too weak and they would cry all the time. Do you think that's right? No. No, of course it's not. But at the time, it was. Girls didn't go out on the fire engines, they weren't allowed. They can now, okay? Girls can go out on the fire engines. Not girls of your age, bigger girls, okay? You are, we do allow you out on the fire engines. All right. Anyone got any questions? Sensible questions. Yes, my love. In your friend's garden, was it a real fire or a bonfire? Was it rubbish? Or was it, it was a real one, was it? Did the fire engine come? No? Why? You should always call it a fire engine. It's called keep it simple. It was a bonfire. It was a bonfire, was it? Oh, so it was safe. But you wouldn't go near it, would you? Why wouldn't you go near it if it was in your garden? Because would you get burned? And it would hurt, wouldn't it? Okay. And you, it's hot. Well done. I mean, it's hard to believe, but I was burned in a fire engine fire once. A fire engine caught a light, and I had all burns on my face. But of course, it hasn't changed my charm and good looks. Never. <laughs> Obviously, fire can be very dangerous. Okay. No more questions. Are you <coughs> sure? Yes, one. And what does SFP and then AFS? Right. SFP stands for. <coughs> Street fire party. Street now, party. that doesn't mean like a birthday party. Street fire party. Now, these people, as I mentioned, I didn't mention it because it might have been bush, but good point. These very brave people, because they, if they lived in, 
their street they lived in, okay, that would have been their responsibility to try and keep it safe. So this lady, she would be patrolling her street where she lived, her road, yes, to look for small flyers. She may have had someone with her. So if she was outside at night and she was seen, someone would know that she was doing a very important job and that she wasn't just going out for a walk. Because would you just go out for a walk in the evening with all the bombs dropping and the flames and smoke and dust? You wouldn't, would you really? But these brave people did. AFS stands for Auxiliary Fire Service. They were part-time firemen and women. But of course the women didn't go out on the fire engines. The NFS, you can't all see it, NFS is National Fire Service. They were the whole time, full time, they worked every day of the week, okay? And this one, ARP, <laughs> was Air Raid Precaution. These brave people made sure that the public like you were all safe in the air raid shelters underground. And they looked after looked after everyone. Very brave people. So they all done very brave jobs. Okay, a bit like the firefighters do now. All right. Why are those up there? I don't know. They got up there one night. Have you ever seen the film Night at the Museum? Yes. When things come alive in the museum. Yes. I didn't come up there. They must have climbed up the ladder and across the windowsill. Wasn't me. Oh, by the way, I'll never tell fibs to children, do I? <laughs> Everything I tell them is true. <laughs> right, I'm going to move around now to that side.